In this video, I am going to show you how to prepare a nicely rendered publication quality image of a biomolecular system. And for example, I am taking a very small peptide which is made of 11 alanine residues. And this is a grow file that contains the alpha helix and the water molecules. So let's first open the system with VMD. Okay, so as you can see that the protein is at the center and it's surrounded by water molecules inside a cubic box. And let's just clean it up so that we can see the protein clearly and its hydration shell as well. So we have to go to graphics and then go to representation. And here in one rep, I'm going to write protein, which will only highlight the protein. And let's change the drawing method to new cartoon so that the alpha helix becomes a little prominent. And optionally, you can change the color which I would like to make gray and also if you want you can change the material representation which I'm going to do AO shiny sometimes it looks good and then for the hydration shell I have to create another replica and write water within three of protein so this replica will now only show the water molecules that are within three angstrom of the helical peptide and we have to change the drawing method because with new cartoon you cannot visualize water molecules so you have to do cpk and you can see that there are uh, several water molecules that are surrounding it. So if you are happy with this particular orientation and you want to save a nicely rendered image of this frame, so what you need to do is to go to file and go to render. And there my suggestion is to use one of these tachyon modes which generally gives a nice visualization. Once you see the rendered image, you can understand and preferably change the name. Say I'm writing frame zero. And you can add your own resolution like this. If you want to make it a bigger image in resolution, you can write some bigger number as well. And then you have to hit start rendering. But before that, I would like to uh, ensure that some options in the display options are uh, turned on. For example, if you go to display settings, you can see there are these two options, which is already on in my default setting. But in general, they are turned off. So make sure to turn them on and they will give you a more dramatic quality of your image. So with that being said, let's start rendering. And once the rendering is complete, you can close it. And you can see that frame 0.tga, a file has been created. And if you want to visualize it, you'll just go ahead and use the EOG application in your terminal. And you can see that it's in a very nicely rendered snapshot form. So feel free to play with different options, different colors, and whichever represents your system in the best way. Thank you for watching the video.